Hello and welcome to Direct Express Help. I am Kwame and today I'm going to walk you through the Direct Express debit card website. Now, a lot of you have reached out to us through email and comments on our blog posts and on videos online about struggling to navigate the Direct Express website. Specifically, some of you have expressed frustration about the login process because there are two different pages for you to log into Direct Express depending on the first six digits of your card number. So today I'm going to walk you through that. I'm going to show you how to navigate the FAQs, how the Direct Express card works, how to reach out to customer service, and also ATM and fees that come with the Direct Express card. But first, before I even get any further, if you are new to our channel, I want to urge you to subscribe to our channel. Why is that important? Because this entire site is dedicated to helping you answer questions about Direct Express debit card, social security benefits, disability benefits, and more. So we want you to be the first to know when there is something out of Congress or in Congress that affects your benefits. So hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get started. So we are on the Direct Express website right now. And as you can see at the top, the URL to get to the website is www.usdirectexpress.com. So that is the URL to get to Direct Express. Any other URL you get is not correct. This is the official Direct Express website, and this is what it looks like. Now, as you can see, there are four menu buttons at the top. There is the home page, how it works, FAQs, and contact us. So I'm going to walk through each of them and show you everything you need to know about this website so that when you get back to navigating it for yourself and looking at information, you will be able to find it very easily. So let's get started with the home page. Well, as you can see, the home page starts with the login instructions. And then in the middle, you will see the benefits of Direct Express. And then at the bottom, there is information about what you can do with the card. So before I come back to that, the first thing I want to do is walk you through the login process. So let's get started with that. Now, as I mentioned, there are two ways to log into Direct Express. The first one is if your card number begins with 533248, you're going to click that circle and then click proceed to login and then it will take you to your login page. Now, if your card number begins with 511563, then you're going to click on that circle, click on proceed to login, and then it will take you to your login page. So I'm going to walk through each of them so that you can see exactly how this works. So I'm going to start on the left and first click on 5332. And then next, I am going to click on proceed to login. Now it will bring you to your login page for that card number. Now, as you can see, there is an option to download the Direct Express mobile app, both for iPhone, Apple in the Apple Store, and then for Android users, you can go to Google Play. So if that is an option for you, you can also download the app and follow the same instructions that I'm about to give you now. It is the same thing on the mobile app. So to log in, you go to the right-hand side. You're going to see this space for your user ID and your password. So enter your user ID in that space, enter your password, and then click on login. Once you enter the right information, the login but button will be highlighted so that it will be clickable for you. Now, if you're using a computer or a phone that is yours and reliable, then you can click on the Remember Me box at the bottom, which I just did. That means that the next time you come in, it's going to remember that it's you and it will make the login process much easier for you. So that is how you log in. Enter your user ID, enter your password, and then click login and it will take you uh, to, your, to your Direct Express account page. Now, if you forgot your password or you forgot your user ID, let me show you how to retrieve both right now. So you're gonna click on, if you forgot your user ID, you're gonna click on the forget user ID button at the top right hand corner. So I'm gonna click that. It's gonna take you to this page where you're gonna have to provide certain information that's gonna be needed in order for you to retrieve your user ID. And you're gonna need the last four digits of your Direct Express card number. You're gonna need your CVV number, which is the 
three digit code that is at the back of the car. So if you don't know what it is, this is what it looks like. And then you're going to enter the expiration date that is in front of your card, the two digit month and the two digit, uh, the two. So let me, let me go back to the format is the two digit month, the two digit date, and then the four digit year. So you enter that information and then your social security number. So enter your social security number. Your full social security number is going to be required. And then click next. And then it will walk you through the next steps on how to retrieve your user ID. So now that we know how to retrieve the user ID, we're going to go back and then click on forgot password. So if you forgot your password, your direct express password, you're going to click this and then go to forgot password. And then it's going to bring you to this page. As you can see, here again, you're going to be required to provide certain information that is going to be needed in order for you to retrieve your password. You're going to provide your user ID and then the last four digits of your direct express card number, your CVV number, which I said is a la is a three digit code. If you, if you're familiar with using credit cards and debit cards, you know what this number is. It's a three digit code at the back and for American Express, it's just like the four digit code in the front, but we're talking about MasterCard here. So it's going to be the three digit code that is highlighted at the back of your card and then enter your card expiration day and then your social security number. And once you enter all that information into the boxes that have been provided you, click the next button and then proceed to retrieve your password or reset your password. Now talking about passwords, as usual, and for best practices, make sure that it's a password that is not easy to be hacked. So avoid using the predictable things. Avoid using your pet, your pet's name, or your your, your street name, or your one of your kids' names. Things that people can guess very easily are things that you don't want to use. Don't use one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are some <laughs> passwords that people use, or don't use the word password. Make sure that you come up with something that you're going to remember, but it's also hard for people to guess. So we're going to go back. So that is how if you have a direct express card number that begins in 533248, that is how you're going to log in. Now, for those of you who have card numbers that begin in 511563, you're going to click on that circle and then you're going to click proceed to log in. And then here is what your login page is going to look like. You can see it's very different from the previous one. So it is important to go to the login page that is associated with your card. So we're going to here again, enter your user ID password. Now there's an extra step here. You're going to check the box that you're not a robot. And then if you want to be remembered, if you're using a car, a, a, a phone or a computer that is yours and you're familiar with, and it's not a public thing that other people use, then click the remember me so that next time you come back to log in, it will be easier for you to log in. So after you enter all the information that is required, then you're going to click the sign in button. So if you forgot your password, if you forgot your user ID, we're going to walk through the same process here. You're going to click the forgot user ID button, and then it's going to take you to another page. Now here, as you can see, it's a different process. So it's important that you go to the right page because everything is different. So if you forgot your user ID, you can actually call customer service or you can follow the process on the right hand side where you can provide your card number, your full card number, click that you're not a robot. And if you do that successfully, then you can continue to retrieve your user ID. Or as I said, simply, you can just call customer service and they'll help you do that. If you forgot your password, you're going to click on forgot password. And then here again, you're going to follow the process. You're going to provide your user ID. So in this particular page, Things are done step by step. Once you provide the first information, then it will, it will take you to the next information. So you provide your user ID and then they're going to have you do a verification via email or text message. And then it's going to give you an opportunity to reset 
your new password and the process has been outlined on the left hand side as you can see. So that's how you retrieve his ID. Now if you have a new card and you want to activate the card then you can click on the activate or register the card and it will take you to this screen and you have to enter the card number click I'm not a robot and then continue the process. Next if you want to create an account if you're new to Direct Express website and you want to create an account then you click on the create account to be able to do that so I'm going to click on that and then here again it starts with putting in your card number to be able to then start the process to create your account. Now for those of you whose card begins in 533248 I am going to go back to this page and you know instead of saying create account it has here register for an account so remember go to the previous page it says create a user and then here it says register for an account so clearly both both pages are different so make sure that you're on the right page and 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 so that you can be able to do the right transaction so when we have walked through the login process so now you know how to log into the direct express website if your card number begins in 5332 or your card number begins in 51563 you also know how to retrieve your username and password and you also know how to create an account if you are new to Direct Express. And for those of you who have card number 511563, you also know how to activate or register a card. So these are the two places you need to go depending on what your card number begins with. So now we've walked through the login process, let's look at the other things that are important on this website. Obviously, if you are new to Direct Express, one of the reasons why the government set up this card is that it's a way for you to get government benefits via electronic payments. As you know, by law, government benefits have to be paid electronically. So if you cannot get access to a bank account, a checking account, or a savings account with a bank or a credit union, then the next option you have is a Direct Express debit card. And it is recommended by the U.S. Department of the Treasury. So this is a government-backed debit card. So some of you are asking whether Direct Express debit card is legit. Well, it is very legit. This is the government that is recommending this card. And obviously, the things that you can do with Direct Express, what are the benefits or what are the, 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 the things you can use the card for? Well, you can check your, you, if you go online, you know, when you, when you, when you, are able to successfully log in what can you do online here you can log in you can select a pin you can dispute a transaction you can report a loss or stolen card and other things but let's get to what the direct express card can be used for obviously one if you're new to it you can use it to pay bills you can use it to make purchases online and over the phone and you can use it to take cash from an ATM it functions just like any other debit card so when we click on how it works, this is what I just talked about. You can use it to get cash. You can use it to make purchases at grocery stores, drug stores, pharmacies, gas stations, etc., restaurants, department stores. Now let me get back to cash. So you can use it to get cash at Direct Express ATMs for free, or if you use it at other ATMs, then you may have to pay a fee. So that is something that you should be aware of. Now let's go to contact us. There are several ways to contact Direct Express. You can call the number on the screen 1-888-741-1115. That is the main customer service number. But if you are abroad and you need to reach out to Direct Express, if you've traveled and you're out of the country and you need to talk to Direct Express, you have to call the international number 765-778-6290. That is how you call Direct Express if you are abroad. Now, when you call customer service, there are several things that they can help you with. One, report a loss or stolen card. This is a big issue that Direct Express customer service clients have been experiencing. So make sure that when your card is missing or stolen, report it right away. Call the number that I've shown you. Customer service is available 24 seven and you can call to report a stolen card. You can check your balance, change your PIN, review transactions, 
register, complain about a card issue, get questions, any questions that you have about the card, get it answered, including what happens if you're using the card abroad. Now, some of you have been trying to get access to customer service and are frustrated that it's taking long for you to do so well. You have right here how to write a letter to Direct Express. So you can write them directly to the address that is shown, Direct Express Payment Processing Services, P.O. Box 245998 in San Antonio, Texas. So that is how you can physically send them a letter about your complaint or whatever you want answered. Now, if you have not signed up for a Direct Express card, then you have to call a separate number, which is the enrollment number for Social Security, Disability, or other government benefits. And that is a separate number, which is 1-800-333-1795. And there's a specific time, as you can see on the screen, that you can call them. So now, let's get to my favorite part of the Direct Express website, which is the FAQs. In this section, any question, almost any question you have about the Direct Express debit card has been answered here. So, I want to walk through and highlight a few of them for, so that you can see what resources you have online before you even call customer service. Check out the resources that you have. So they've listed, for example, who can get Direct Express debit card? Well, they've listed all these federal agencies, benefits, beneficiaries that can get Direct Express, obviously including Social Security, um, and disability, survivor benefits, supplemental security income, which is SSI, the DC pension for the U.S. Department of Treasury, the Coast Guard. I mean, there's a lot of agencies here, veterans, a lot of veteran agencies can also get their benefits through Direct Express, the civil service retirement, and many, many, many more. So, those are the, 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 the list of federal agencies that can get their benefits through Direct Express. Now, I am going to scroll down and locate the fees because this is one of the big things that people misunderstand about Direct Express. So what are the free services that you get with your Direct Express debit card? Well, they're all listed here. So one, you know, if you do an ATM balance inquiry, it is free. If you call customer service, it's free. Some debit cards, some prepaid debit cards do charge you for calling customer service. That is not with Direct Express. If you make purchases, if you get cash back, if you go to a grocery store or pharmacy and you buy something, you get a cash back, you're not going to be charged. It is free. And many other things. Now, when it comes to ATM withdrawals, you are allowed one free withdrawal per deposit period. This is very important to understand. You have one, AT one ATM withdrawal each deposit. So if your federal benefits come in once a month, then you can go to the ATM and withdraw money one time. If you withdraw more than one time, then you will be charged a fee. So... That is how the ATM withdrawals work with the Red Express. Now, let's go to the services that require or that charge a fee. If you use these services, you'll be charged a fee. So, if you have a monthly statement mailed to you rather than viewing it online, you're going to be charged 75 cents each month. If you transfer funds to a personal U.S. bank account, meaning that you're moving money from your Direct Express debit card into another bank account is $1.50 each time you do it. If you order a card replacement, now you can get one free card replacement every year. After that, you're going to have to pay $4. And if you are ordering a replacement card and you want it rushed process, like you want them sh to ship it quickly, and this is where a lot of customers, a lot of Direct Express card holders get hung up because they lose their card, they want to get access to their money, and they, they, they don't know that you have to pay and all you can pay for expedited shipping. So if you pay $13.50, they will ship it to you by express service or expedited service, as they like to say. 
And if you do ATM withdrawal outside of the U.S., if you're traveling abroad and you do an ATM withdrawal, you're going to be paying $3 plus 3% of the amount withdrawn. So what does that mean? If you are abroad somewhere out of the U.S. and you go and take money from your Direct Express card, you're going to pay $3. And if you withdraw like $1,000, you're going to pay $30 plus $3. So you're going to pay $33 for withdrawing $1,000. And then if you make purchases outside the U.S., it's a 3% fee for the amount you purchase. So here again, if you purchase $1,000 worth of stuff, you're going to be charged $30 fee for using your card abroad. Now, there are several ways to avoid fees while using your Direct Express card. And those are listed here uh, in the FAQs. One of them is to get cash back when you make purchases from a retailer. So as you can see, there's a lot of um, information here. Now, I want to pause here and show you Direct Express free ATM network. So your Direct Express comes with approximately 75,000 surcharge free ATM network, which means that if you use the ATM at these places, you will not be charged a fee. But remember, there's only one withdrawal a month. So these are the ATMs that you can use to get money from your Direct Express debit card for free. Any ATM outside of this network, you are going to be charged a fee. So there is a lot of information here about how to change your PIN and some information here about how to use, you know, if you want to use your Direct Express card to pay rent. A lot of you have complained about bill pay and that you cannot use, you cannot set up auto bill pay using Direct Express. Well, if you read this instruction, it will tell you about how to use Direct Express to rent a car, to pay your rent, to pay your gas bill, etc., etc. And then a lot of things about privacy protection, how to use your card abroad, and, and, and how to safeguard your card. So, and then finally, there is details about the Direct Express mobile app. You can download it. It works just like the website. You have the same functionality. So if that is something that you are comfortable with, then it's worth downloading. So this is the Direct Express website. And if you have any other question about how to navigate this website, leave us a comment in the comment section below. And as I said before, please remember to subscribe so that you'll be the first to know when we release videos that are information that can impact your benefits, whether it's social security, disability, or direct express. So until next time, thank you for watching.